A rare green comet is about to make its closest pass by Earth. The comet, called C2022 E3, spends most of its time on the outermost edges of the solar system, in the Oort cloud, but it will make its closest pass by Earth on February 2. The close pass will bring the comet within about 45 million kilometers of Earth, about 120 times the distance between Earth and the Moon or about one-fifth the average distance to Mars. It only orbits the Sun once every 50,000 years or so, so its last pass by our home planet was in the Stone Age, when humans still coexisted with Neanderthals. C2022 E3 had not passed close to Earth in 50,000 years. However, it will soon be visible to the naked eye. The unique comet will fly by the globe at a distance of 2.5 light minutes, or 27 million miles. Those early humans may have been able to see C2022 E3 in the sky, and it is expected to be possible with this pass too, in areas in the northern hemisphere with little light pollution. It is located near the constellation Boötes, just to the east of the Little Dipper, and on the 1st and the 2nd of February it might be visible with the naked eye. With a telescope, binoculars or a camera with the option for an extended exposure, it is expected to remain visible through the middle of the month before it slips away back towards the Oort cloud. The comet's nucleus emits a vivid green glow due to the action of sunlight on its molecules, particularly diatomic carbon and cyanogen. On March 2, last year, astronomers Frank Massey and Bryce Boland discovered it using the Zwicky Transient Facility. To watch the comet, you will have to look toward the north. The comet will be near Draco, the dragon-shaped constellation that lies between the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. Discovered less than a year ago, this harmless green comet already is visible in the northern night sky with binoculars and small telescopes, and possibly the naked eye in the darkest corners of the northern hemisphere. It's expected to brighten as it draws closer and rises higher over the horizon through the end of January, best seen in the pre-dawn hours. By February 10, it will be near Mars, a good landmark. 